Good morning, children. How are you all? Hope you all might be fine and safe. So today, children, in grammar, we are going to learn again about the abstract noun. We will do the revision of the abstract noun. So what is abstract noun? Let us see. An abstract noun is a word which names something that you cannot see, hear, touch, smell or taste. So abstract noun, it talks about our feelings, qualities or ideas which we are not able to see which we can't hear, which we can't touch or we can't smell or taste. That means it doesn't have any kind of physical appearance. Okay, it doesn't have body. So the five sense organs, touch, hear, smell, see, taste. Then examples, bravery, health, freedom. We can't touch those things. We can't taste, we can't see, we can't hear them. They don't have voice, then we can't touch them. So an abstract noun is the word used to denote some quality, state or action. Let us see one by one. Like quality, beauty, greatness, truth. Then state, happiness, how we are. Then boyhood, friendship, action, thought, flight, behavior. Now let us see quality. The woodcutter was rewarded for his honesty. So the woodcutter, he was rewarded for his honesty. What is abstract noun in this? The abstract noun is honesty. Okay. That is the quality of the woodcutter. Then King Albert is known for his wisdom. So wisdom is the abstract noun. That is the quality of King Albert. We should show kindness to animals and birds. So what is abstract noun here? Kindness is the abstract noun. Now everyone is attracted towards the brightness of gold and silver. Now abstract noun brightness. Richard was awarded for his bravery on the Republic Day. So what is abstract noun here? Here also the abstract noun is bravery. Now, the above sentences as we have seen, honesty, wisdom, kindness, brightness, bravery, what are they? They tell you about the qualities of the person, okay? You can't see that, you can't see the honesty because it doesn't have any kind of physical appearance. You cannot see the wisdom, that means how the person is wise. Then kindness also doesn't have any body. You can't taste it. Can you taste? Can you touch? Can you smell? No. Brightness and bravery respectively. They are what? They are brightness and bravery. What are they? They are abstract noun because they represent the qualities of the person. Now state that how the person is. Slavery, death, youth, poverty, then childhood. So the state of being, okay, the state of being means how the person is at now, like see. Okay, slavery is a curse to humanity. So you can see the person being made slave. So that is a curse to humanity. Then death is the natural end of man. So here yeah, death state of being the person is and death. Youth is a prime of life. So youth, then we are young. That is the golden period, prime of life. Childhood is the best period in a man's life. So childhood also is the best period. You enjoy a lot in the childhood days. Not worried about anything. So that is also an abstract noun. Now action, theft, anger, laughter, life sight the thief has been caught for a theft by the police so that is a state of state uh, action what is that theft what he was doing he was stealing or he was a is a thief and the action done by him was a theft of action then we should control our anger for peace of mind so here what are the abstract noun anger and then peace. 
Laughter is the best medicine. So laughter is the best medicine. Laughter, what it is? It is an abstract noun. Then the above sentences denote action of theft, anger, laughter, life and sight respectively. Now we will know about the collective noun. So collective noun, what are they? Collective nouns are the things which are in group, in collection as a whole a crowd or mob collection of people okay a crowd gathered at the place of accident so a group of people they have gathered at the uh, place of accident so that is collective noun an army collection of soldiers or fighters an army fought bravely against the enemy so in army you find different uh, many soldiers okay a herd collection of animals so a herd collection of animals a herd of cows are grazing in the field so there are many cows so instead of that we have used a herd then uh, a fleet the police the jury so the jury uh, found the prisoner guilty okay mm -hmm. now here let us see why exercise for practice so wise people do not follow a mob then the police are trying to maintain law and order in the city so police also that is collective noun our family is going for a picnic family made of many persons a pack of wolves was seen in the forest so here a collective noun is pack in the first people and mob people also many persons are a group of uh, persons make people and mob also follow a mob mob is what crowd now let us see okay we will do the abstract noun we have done the collective noun see abstract noun Underline abstract noun in the sentences given below. He is a man of great wisdom. So what is abstract noun here? Wisdom. Beauty lies in the eyes of the looker. Onlooker. So beauty. Then courage is a very rare virtue. So what is abstract noun? Courage and virtue. Honesty is the best policy. So here honesty and policy. Then everybody wants to live in comfort so what is abstract now comfort